I'm very fortunate to work with some brilliant people in Vienna, none more so than René Starr, a member of our second violin section, but also a very prominent composer. Um, when I proposed to him uh, doing a piece of trombone and string quartet, his eyebrows raised kind of to about here because he had balance issues. Um, but as you know, most composers are obsessed with the glissando, so he couldn't resist the challenge. Um, we did the first performance in the Musikverein a couple of weeks ago with the Kugel Quartet. Um, the performances were a great success, got good reviews. Um, it's a challenging piece. It's um, difficult to get together with a string quartet. I think it's going to be even better with a string orchestra and a conductor for logistical reasons. In the following clips, you're going to see the process of how the piece was put together. Um, the first thing you're going to see is the first rehearsal with trombone and piano with myself and René. I then had a lovely chat with him which I videoed, some of which I've shared with you, some of which I haven't. Um, and then there are excerpts from the last rehearsal um, on the day of the first performance. Uh, 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 
I have written many parts where the trombone really has to be playing very strong as a solo instrument, mm -hmm. but I have also written parts in which the trombone should be playing as a part of the ensemble or as the first of the ensemble or even accompanying the ensemble somehow. where the chord goes into other mm -hmm. uh, chords. Yeah. So eventually when you hear the, the piece, when it is finished, the whole, uh, which I, I intend to do a trombone concerto, mm -hmm. uh, it will be that you have first a chord which is not the central part, but it goes to the central part yeah. in development and it moves away from the central part right. again. Yeah? Okay. So that's how I want it to be, uh, become. Thank you. 
So there you have it. I'm hoping to play it again sometime. We did two performances, they went very, very well, and we got great reviews. And it was good fun standing on the stage playing with those guys. Um, actually, my impression of the piece is it's very, very easy to express emotions in there. It's a very emotional piece. Okay, well, that was quite a two and a half weeks that I had. When I returned from that month that I was away, I did Electra, Arabella, The Ring Cycle, I did Goethe Demerol and the Bass Trumpet, which I have to tell you is quite a treat. So, yes, the entire Ring Cycle in a week uh, with no rehearsal, um, Vienna style. I did the Alpine Symphony three times with Franz Felser Merst, which was phenomenal. Um, by the way, in case you're wondering, not everything that, I, that we do is phenomenal. Not everything that I take part in is fantastic. I just don't tell you about those things. Um, and then I did a solo evening at the British Embassy um, a couple of nights ago, which was fantastic. Um, the the um, British Ambassador to the United Nations uh, and to Austria, Simon Smith, is an amateur trombone. So we did some duets and we all had a really great time. It was a wonderful evening. Okay, things are slowing down a little bit now. Finally, I've got a few Parsifals to plough through. Um, that's a bit disrespectful. It's a wonderful opera, but when you've played it over 25 or 6 times, you've kind of heard it all before. Um, so I'm running through that, and then I get a bit of a breather, would you believe? I'm going to London, I'm going back to the Royal Academy of Music again, visiting some family, and who knows, I might even get a holiday in France in.